Hello and welcome to this episode of All Out Oregon. My name is Ethan and today I'm going to be showing you around South Central Oregon and Lake County out here in the Oregon Outback. This is high desert area and we're going to be taking a look at some of the volcanic ruins. As you can see, kind of sparse out here. There's not a lot out here, but what is out here is pretty cool. Our first stop is here at Hole in the Ground. Our second stop, also here in the Oregon Outback, will be Crack in the Ground. And our third and final stop will be Fort Rock. If you're able to get out here to Eastern Oregon and see some of these sites for yourself, I highly encourage you to do so. If you can't, sit back and relax while I show you around some of the great sites here in Oregon's Outback. Hole in the ground is a large mar or volcanic explosion crater formed during the late Pleistocene 13,500 to 18,000 years ago. At the time of formation, this was the shore of an approximately 900 square mile lake. Magma intruded near the surface of the shore, flashing the lake water to steam and blowing soil and rock out, creating the hole. The crater is about a mile across. The floor sits at about 490 feet below ground. The rim rises anywhere from 110 to 210 feet above ground. Boulders as large as 26 feet in diameter were flung nearly two and a half miles away. After the hole was formed, soil and rock began to slide back into the hole, capping off the magma chamber, causing pressure and another explosion. This actually happened multiple times over, leaving us with the wonderful volcanic formation that we have out here today. At Green Mountain Campground, which is about 15 minutes down the road from Crack in the Ground on Crack in the Ground Road, which makes it really convenient if you wanna stay out here. There are only about six spots available and they're first come, first serve, so you wanna make sure and get out here early. I would imagine that it probably gets a little crowded on the weekends, but not a bad spot if you can make it out here which if you could have a regular vehicle, you can pretty much get out here. Uh, hole in the ground is a little bit more complicated. You could probably get out to the rim of hole in the ground in a little four cylinder. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you're feeling adventurous and don't mind maybe getting stuck out in the middle of nowhere, uh, hey, give it a shot. I would recommend having a Jeep or a uh, Subi, all-wheel drive, something, truck, something, uh, to get out to hole in the ground. Fort Rock, really easy. It's all paved right up to the parking area, and so that's really easy to get into, and it's well marked. Uh, crack in the ground is well marked as well. Hole in the ground, not so well marked. It's a little difficult to find, but like I say, unless you've got you know four wheel or all wheel drive, you probably shouldn't be going out there anyway. So today we find ourselves at Crack in the Ground, Oregon, located in Christmas Valley off Crack in the Ground Road. Crack in the Ground Road is a 
unimproved gravel road with lots of bumps on it, although it is navigable by pretty much any vehicle. Some of our other locations out here, not so much. You need a four wheel or all wheel drive to get to them, but crack in the ground is one of those that you can get to in pretty much any car you have. There are no trailhead signs. There is only an outhouse and a parking lot. So if you blink, you'll miss it. Here at the end of the trail, at the entrance to the crack. There are two entrances, one on the left and another on the right. To the left, as you approach, is a small scramble area. It's a bit precarious, some loose boulders and whatnot, so if you're uncoordinated or have balance issues, might stay clear of that area. If not, go ahead and check it out, take maybe five or 10 minutes to kind of buzz around in there. And then move off to the right to crack in the ground proper, where you have a fissure in the ground that is approximately 30 feet deep at its deepest point, and it's about two miles long. There's some fantastic views down there, and we're gonna show you some of those right now. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you get a chance to come out here and check it out, do it for yourself. I highly recommend it. It's a lot nicer in person than it is on video. Keep in mind that these lands out here are our lands. They are paid for by our tax dollars and feel free to come out and enjoy them. Get away from the rat race for a while. Today we're at Fort Rock. Fort Rock is a volcanic tuff that was formed 50 to 100,000 years ago in what was once, much like hole in the ground, a lake bed. At the time, this location was about 150 feet below the surface of the lake. Waves from the lake eroded the upper rings and caused an opening in the south side, leaving us with the formation that we have today. It is 4,460 feet in diameter and 200 feet high. Thing that I keep forgetting to say. 
Hello, and thanks for coming. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Something else I was gonna say. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.